Hi, this is Mark Laughlin with the Ambidextral Gunfighter. This is kind of a little side piece for the uh, review of the RDB, the Caltech RDB. I'm going to check and see how adjusting the ga gas system might differ for different ammo. So I've got uh, a magazine of 55 grain, and I'm going to start off doing the gas uh, setup with that, and then we'll see how many clicks from bottom it takes to make this 55 grain work. And then we'll try 65 grain and some 75 grain as well. And what I'm going to do is make note of uh, what's the, the optimal gas system for each, each uh, setup. Now the drill is, is basically I'll turn the gas all the way in to uh, where it bottoms out, back it out to 10, and then fire a single round and then uh, if the bolt locks back, then I'll clack, click two more clicks out, load a, a magazine again with a single round, and, um, and fire again. If it locks back, I'll go back two more clicks on the gas setting. And then once I reach the point where it fails to lock back, then I'll bring it back in four clicks. And that supposedly is the ideal setting for uh, your ammunition. And I suppose you could probably fine tune it a little bit from there if you liked. But uh, I just want to see if there's a, you know, if there's actually a measurable difference between 55, 65, and 75 grain. So uh, let's get started. Okay. So first step, I'm going to turn dial in the gas adjustment till all the way in till it bottoms out. All right, so we back this out 10 clicks on the gas system. We'll load we've got one an empty magazine. We're going to load one round. And the bolt did lock back. So we'll back out two more clicks. Load one more round. Bolt locked back. So two more clicks. One more round. And that time the bolt failed to lock back. So we'll go in four clicks, and that should be our setting. So we came out, let's make a note. Came out 10, we did uh, two and then two, so that's 14 clicks, and then we came back in four, so basically we came our setting is 10 clicks from bottom. So that's for 55 grain. All right, now we're ready to, to do our 65 grain and see if we get similar results. Uh, back this, uh, bottom this all the way in, back it out to 10, 10 clicks from the bottom. We'll load a single, single round in our magazine. And the bolt, bolt did lock back, 
can see the bolt head back here through the basically ejection port. So we'll come back out two more clicks, load another single round in our magazine. And uh, that time our bolt did not lock back. So now we come in, we've uh, so far come out 12 clicks from bottom, but for this one we're gonna come, we'll go back in four clicks. So basically this one is eight clicks from the bottom, whereas 55 grain was 10 clicks. Let's make a note of that. It was 62 grain is eight clicks from bottom. So that's interesting. I guess a little heavier bullet. Uh, uh, it takes a little more to accelerate it and get it out the muzzle. And so if this hypothesis holds correct and continues, then the 75 grain should maybe be, I don't know, six or seven clicks. Okay, so now we're gonna do 75 grain. First step is to bottom the gas adjustment all the way in. And then come out 10. Okay, we're 10 clicks out from the bottom. We load one 75 grain round into our magazine. Okay, the bolt did lock back. We come out two clicks. So now we're 12 clicks from the bottom. Okay, bolt did not quite lock back on that one. So this one would go back in four clicks. And basically that's uh, gonna be the same setting as the 62 grain. Let's just check it. Make sure it locks back. And our bolt is locked back. So, uh, it is something you'll want to record if you're using a variety of ammo. If you're using 55, 62, or 75, or whatever, or heavier bullets, you're going to want to make sure you record what your gas setting is for each of those, and then uh, uh, make it. You know, when you get, depending on what ammo you're using, change your gas setting. So I'm going to be. Uh, uh, probably running mostly around, I'm going to set it at nine clicks so I can uh, probably, that should run everything, <laughs> I'm thinking. Let's try that. Let's uh, bottom this out. Right now it's set at eight clicks, but let's uh, go ahead and we'll bottom it out and I'm going to back it out to nine clicks and my guess is it's, that's probably going to work okay with everything. Let's try that. Okay, nine clicks out. So let's, let's try the 75 first to make sure it cycles. Bolt locked back at nine clicks on the 75. Try 65.
bolt locked back on the 65 grain. And now let's try at a 55. And we got a bolt lock back on 55 as well. So looks like uh, nine clicks is a nice uh, uh, compromise number that'll let them all cycle. I did notice that the 55 grain at nine clicks feels just a little bit harsher than maybe it did at 10 clicks. I don't know, maybe it's just my uh, subjective input on that. But uh, anyway, the test results show that ideally, 55 grains for, for my rifle and my ammo is 10 clicks out from the bottom. Uh, 62 and 75 grains are 8 clicks out from the bottom. It's Mark Laughlin with Ambidextra Gunfighter. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.